Hi guys and welcome back to another video where I will share with you 5 lessons that I've learned in one year as a beginner motorcycle rider. These lessons are 100% based on my own personal experience and I felt that it would be nice to share it with you all. Either you're a beginner motorcycle rider or you would like to become one, I'm sure that these lessons can be very useful for you. Stay with me until the end of this video to learn from my mistakes. So let's start. The first lesson I've learned was on a highway. As you can see here, I'm wearing a $30 open face helmet. I had to get used with the buffeting and strong wind coming from all sides. Normally when you dive into the ocean, you need a proper diving suit. Or when you go to stop a fire, you need to wear a proper equipment. Same happened with a motorcycle. Before you ride a motorcycle, you must have a proper equipment, a proper gear. This helmet made the trip quite exhausting after a while. Also the helmet after speeds over 130 km per hour. I had a feeling that I can lose it. it was a totally improper helmet for the highway. Also, the helmet didn't have a sun protective uh, visor. On my way back, the sun was coming directly to my face. It was not a good uh, feeling. And the trousers, if you can see, they are waving in the wind, like uh, like Batman. <laughs> so yeah, normally uh, this gear can be good for city riding, but for the highways and for strong wind, strong buffeting, I will recommend to have a specific motorcycle gear and to make it shorter before even thinking of buying a motorcycle go and buy a proper equipment this will make your future rides more comfortable and safer my second learn lesson which i would like to share with you is uh, choosing carefully your riding partner or your riding companion before choosing your riding partner you have to ask yourself if you and your riding partner have about the same motorcycle skills how well do you know your riding partner especially this is for the longer trips can be that the person you are riding with is not used with your riding styles with your riding skills in my case most of the time I was riding with one of my colleagues from the motorcycle school I had more than one and a half month to observe and to know his riding skills and to know him better therefore I, I had a feeling that uh, we have the same riding skills and uh, doing the school the motorcycle school together uh, we know each other uh, better and we were able to to ride together having the same uh, training and the same skills with every ride we begin more confident and we develop our skills after each ride. One day we decided to take with us uh, one of my subscribers in one of our rides. We didn't know exactly his riding skills. We didn't know what to expect. How, how was his uh, riding style? After a while, we noticed that his riding style is a little uh, aggressive in comparison with ours. We noticed also that his mind was not focused 100% on the road. And uh, if you watch one of my videos, I will put a link in the description. You will see exactly what happened. So make sure that you put yourself some questions before you go on a ride with someone that you don't know at all. I know it's difficult to find someone with exactly your skills or with the same exactly uh, training as you have, but uh, at least find someone who has very close riding skills and riding style uh, the same as you have. That's a sensitive topic. It may be different from a person to another. But uh, in my opinion, I will recommend to choose responsibly your riding partner.
your riding companion. My third lesson was very scary, was about avoiding a crash on a road with oil and sand just in the middle of the road. Let's start with the oil first. The weather conditions were perfect, the road was dry, everything was running smoothly and just about when I was about to make a left on this turn on the middle of the road it was a big a big line of oil just on the middle of the road I was entering this left turn with about 45 46 kilometers per hour as you can see it but uh, I guess my mistake was that I was entering just on the middle of the path on the middle of the road perhaps I should have been more on the right side of the road to avoid the middle of the road which normally it's dirt with a lot of oil gasoline from the cars and uh, perhaps I should have taken the right side of the path I I'm also looking for your opinion regarding uh, the way I took the turn it can be very useful for most of us Perhaps I should have positioned myself uh, way before the turn on the right side in order to have more visibility uh, in front of me and to be able to see that dark spot on the road, just on the middle of the road, which is uh, an oil leak. And uh, yeah, this, this was a very, very scary lesson which I learned. This made me reconsider seriously my approach towards the cornering. I need to practice more and focus more on the road hidden dangers. This one like the oil to the cornering to position yourself on the line also to adjust the speed according to road conditions. And now comes the second turn with uh, mud and sand like before it was a perfect day the road was dry outside temperature was perfect no clouds nothing and at this left turn just in the middle of the road some sand uh, i stopped from 84 85 kilometers per hour i didn't press the front brake just uh, just before the um, the sand I thought in my mind that if I break I will uh, fall down so I tried to break harder just before the sand and after it I break and stop from 70 up to 50 kilometers but I was going a lot on the right side I was almost get out of the road through the right side as you can see I was very lucky also this time uh, my position was a little better before the turn was uh, slightly on the right side but uh, my speed was higher so my reaction to the danger on the road was uh, slower you can see in slow motion how I pressed the front brake uh, just before the the mud and uh, after it perhaps you can give me some hints how how it would have been better to to take this turn the speed was too high 85 kilometers I should uh, I should have not braked or I don't know the the fact is that I didn't crashed I didn't get out of the road I was lucky this time but uh, what about next time these two situation uh, made me reconsider seriously my approach towards the cornering I need to practice more and focus more on the road hidden dangers like oil leaks sand rocks wet surfaces but in the same time still be able to enjoy the beauty of the road the twisties and so on it's an important topic so please share your share your thoughts in the comment section the fourth lesson which I learned it's about the pillion pillion's comfort it's as important as your own comfort you are responsible for your pillion safety for your passenger safety 
Consider the pillion riding comfort because it can affect you also when riding. Communicate more often. Your passenger may not be used with motorcycle traveling. And believe me, small things can make a big difference. Stop whenever your pillion asks you to be, uh, be flexible and try to put yourself in your pillion situation. Try to make your passenger ride as smooth as possible and as comfortable as you can. Try to listen to your passenger and ride as safe as you can. Please try not to laugh when you see these pictures. These are serious pictures. Don't forget that the same protection which you get, your pillion should also get it. So don't make a compromise on this topic. And last but not least, the fifth lesson which I learned is riding between your own limits. I decided to make a one day 800 km trip on two of the most challenging roads in Romania and in Europe, Transfăgărășan and Transalpina. The trip was running very well until around kilometer 600 when I started to get a little tired and anxious to return home in time to respect my schedule. The last 200 kilometers were quite difficult to maintain focus and concentration on the road. I was driving for more than 12 hours. The body began to feel tired. The traffic was not easy to handle. It was close to rush hour. Even though the schedule was very well planned when it comes to the timing, uh, did not include it the other aspects mentioned before. The body started to, to feel tired after a certain amount of time depending on the person. You have to know your body limits in order to plan your trip in a safer way. 800 km trips on two very challenging roads was not uh, such a good choice for that time for me. 800 km trip was too much for my skills at that time. I don't recommend overcome your, your limits, keep riding between your own limits, plan your trips uh, according to your skills, according to the road you're about to ride, taking consideration that the body at a certain point will, will give you signs that it cannot continue 100% focused, concentrated on the road. Also, it's not just about the simple road, it's also about the traffic. If you get back uh, close to the rush hour, when the traffic is uh, more intense, then you need more concentration and your body will not uh, handle it 100% uh, of the time. I'm very interested to know how was your first year of riding a motorcycle? What lessons have you learned? Please leave your comment below and share your own personal experience. It could be very useful for all of us. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.